So we've spoken briefly about the form of construction. Obviously, we know we've got a steel frame that's embedded typically at this level within masonry, and that masonry is really, really tightly packed around the metal. That causes problems when you get moisture coming through the masonry into the metalwork, and then similarly we've got water ingress from roof level coming down through the plaster and doing the same thing. This part of the building is particularly bad compared to the overall structure. This is southwest facing. Um, you can pick up, you've got the original uh, sort of 1912 columns with the ornate features, and then at intermediate positions, you've got these smaller diameter circular tubes. So you've got four on this bay and a further two on the next bay down. Um, for context, those were installed because we've got significant corrosion where the beam and column um, interface occurs on the original structure. So those have been more retrospectively introduced in the sort of last 20 years in order to provide support. So they're, they're sort of a, a, a permanent temporary works, um, so to speak, due to the particularly bad nature of the building in this area. Obviously, the concern is over time, um, what's evident in the southwest facing elements of the building could become more typical throughout, and, and hence that's what we're trying to get a good feel from you know, in this piece of work. Yeah, so this is, this is sort of a typical example of what we're concerned about. Um, you can see here where the steel is exposed, we pulled back the membrane there. You know, the extent of delamination here is, is excessive, and you've literally, you know, you can keep going with this, and obviously you've got the same thing going on in all of these columns around, and potentially in the lattice beams. So, you know, th th this is what we really need to be probing into over the next couple of months. To my name is Chris Bartlett, work for Tor Bay Council, heading up our project management and delivery teams. What is becoming apparent in the building is the degree of uh, degradation in the building since we've had access to it. And uh, in what we're presenting now as what goes out in the media is trying to be real and open with all parties so that they understand the magnitude of the project that's ahead of us so that when we do present various options, it will be put into context of where we are now and what we're seeking to transform the building into.